Today, I'm excited because all of the parts that I ordered from J Sport finally arrived. Uh, in my last video, you saw me put on the J Sport skid plate, which went on pretty well. Um, looks great. I'm super excited to use it. But what came today is what I'm a lot more excited for. So <clears throat> I'm gonna unbox what I have here, maybe start working on putting it together and see how far I get. These are the sides, obviously. These are the top rails that go across this thing. Here's some of the hardware came with it. The other thing that's obvious is there's no directions. When I got the skid plate, there were directions. And if for some reason I lost the directions, they were also on J Sports website. However, the bed rack does not have directions on their website. So, do I try and install this without directions or do I ask them and see what they say? Hmm. Also, one thing to note, I was gonna try and leave on the tonneau hardware just in case I take the rack off and end up just using the tonneau. Uh, it does not appear that it will fit lengthwise with how the rack fits on. So that will need to come off. Okay, so look what I found in the bottom of one of the boxes in some packaging. So it is there. And thank God, because it's not on the website. When I was moving around some of the stuff, I realized this is bent pretty bad. We'll see if I can wedge that open. But anyway, let's take a look at this. In the first picture, it shows three tabs on the upper bed sides inside the bridge line bed. Please remove these tabs. In the first picture. Mm, well, I think what it means, these guys here, here, and there. So let's get to removing them. So you are going to need a Torque X bit here, uh, it's a T30. Alright, step two. Place the side rails on the bed side of the ridge line. The side rails have cutouts. Cutouts face towards the front of the car. Once you place them on the correct side, insert the tabs back in and tighten. Okay, so don't lose any of these. Uh, we're gonna reuse them. And the cutout is this area right here. As you can see on the other side, there is no cutout. All right, got a helper now. Step three, the Mesa sides have our J-Sport logo on them. The logos can face either the rear or the front of the vehicle, it's totally up to you. The Mesa sides will attach to the rails with the provided six millimeter hardware. Please loosely attach. Okay. So the six millimeter hardware is a five thirty seconds hex head and a ten millimeter uh, nut. So we'll start putting this on. I'm gonna have the emblem face towards the back of the vehicle. I think it's weird to have it right next to the cab. T30 
to get in there because my socket is pretty thick to be able to fit inside here with the bolts. So I'm gonna give that a shot. All right. Number four, after the Mesa sides are attached, you can start placing the crossbars that go on top. The two crossbars with one tab on it attached to the end of the bed racks and they will face inwards. Please loosely attach the six millimeter hardware and half inch bolts. Hardware attaches to the corners of the bed rack. After that is done, there should be one crossbar with two tabs on it. This is the middle crossbar, please attach. So I line these out. As you can see, that one has one, this has two for either side, and this is the third. Another problem is that that's bent. So we're gonna have to bend it back, otherwise we probably won't be able to attach this last one very easily. So here's the underneath of the crossbars. What's kind of interesting is the one that has two, they're bolted and really secure. The one that just has one, they're almost riveted on. It definitely rattle there, so hopefully that won't be an annoyance later. We'll see. Okay, so these are all loosely on. I recommend putting one side on first, there, and then sliding these back one by one so that you don't run into a situation where you can't get one in because there's no more flex. But yeah, they're all loosely on, so we'll tighten them up next. Um, as you can see, the bolt has a washer on both sides. And yeah, it's a, a beefy. All right, home stretch number five says, attach the center rail down the middle of the bed rack. It will have cutouts and will be longer than the other crossbars. Loosely attached with the six millimeter hardware. All right, number six, home stretch. Once everything is attached, please add the Mesa support brackets. It will attach to the four corners of the bed rack, attach with the tab facing inwards, loosely attach with the six millimeter hardware. So this is it. There's the tabs, we're gonna face it inwards, which means we're gonna put this. Handy work here. Okay, number seven is the final step and tighten everything down. So I pretty much have done that already. Um, I'll show you the tools that I used. Stuff that's really handy for the larger bolts is a uh, three-fourths wrench and a number 19 uh, socket here. So this will go on the nut, this will go on the bolt, and then I used a, a drill here to uh, end up tightening those down quicker, which I did the same with the smaller nine, I think they're, what, six millimeter bolts? So again, this is my 532nd, 10 millimeter wrench. Probably would have worked a lot quicker if I would have had a ratcheted wrench, but I didn't. Um, and then of course the T30 here uh, to go ahead and uh, take out those side pieces there, those three tabs. But yeah, it went pretty straightforward. It took maybe two hours, but uh, I was also watching TV and messing with the dog and stuff. So at any rate, this is the, this is the rack fully installed. It's got that center brace right there. Makes it really strong. It is, it is really sturdy. So I end up buying wood a lot of the times. It's 12, 10 feet long, and it's gonna come in handy for me to end up putting the wood across there once the plateau rack comes. Um, I did check my receipt. Looks like the plateau uh, roof rack did not ship, so that's still coming. So for right now, all I have is the bed rack. So I do have a uh, roof nest rooftop tent coming soon and looking forward to exploring and getting out there. So. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the section below.
and we said we'd measure to see how much it's squatting with everything on there. So we are at 51 inches. We actually haven't moved at all. It might be just under 51, but yeah, I think the weight on this is about 90 pounds, so that's not too bad. 